Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is Hilton's Computer Repair with another quick tutorial. In this tutorial I'll be showing you a little bit how to remove AVG antivirus free completely using their removal tool. Now this is used pretty much if you had problems on the computer, you try to uninstall it and it didn't want to work, going to pretty much going to settings and you know apps and didn't want to show up or somehow it's not working. I'm going to let's say let's open up control panel and programs and features you get the point and doesn't want to work or somehow you just want to be sure that AVG is just not wanting to get removed correctly well this will be showing you how to do it so let's go ahead and just jump right into this tutorial so first thing you pretty much do is open up a browser we're gonna go ahead and go to Google Chrome is what I'm using right now and I'm gonna go ahead and go to google.com I can choose what you want to search for but Google kinda is an easy search engine what we're going to look for is um, AVG removal. Oh, look, it's actually coming up. Removal tool right there. And we're going to go ahead and select it. And you'll see some list right here, but one that we're looking for is the AVG.com that says en.us, many different where you're at, and AVG removal. And this is what you're seeing right here AVG.com, en.us slash AVG remover you get the point it comes to this point right here and if you need to I'll go ahead and give the link for you if you need it so let's let's go ahead and continue we're gonna go ahead and press download and I'm just gonna tell you thank you for choosing AVG you get the point and because if it's not download you can click it right there and it'll prompt it but it seems it worked fine and I'm just going to go ahead and just open that file because I don't really need it that much anymore you probably got prompt like how I did, kind of pressed yes just to let it run. And it's going to say if you want to recommend for this tool to go on Windows in safe mode if you want to do that. Now, if you've been having problems on this, I will make another video there how to get into safe mode. But this thing should work. So I'm going to go ahead and press yes. And it's going to tell us it's going to restart into safe mode. Press yes and let it do its own work. It seems that right now it's not wanting to do its own job right there. So you see we're kind of stuck in that situation. So the option that this comes up to you, all you have to do is go to start, or actually just search bar, and type in msconfig. And then you're going to go ahead and option going to boot. And you see this option right here? It says it's supposed to go into there in safe mode. So let's go ahead and see if it will actually just restart. See, it's not showing there, but let's go ahead and just restart and see what it does. We'll manually restart and see if it does its work. Is that Windows 10 is trying to come up? And it's staying pretty much small right there, I think going into safe mode. Let's see if it actually stayed in it. And yes it did, it's in safe mode now. And this will probably come up on the browser, welcome to it, the help support, we don't need that. And here's the AVG uninstall tool. Now these are the default settings right here. If you had AVG installed, depending on different versions, if you had like inner security business stuff, you might need to select them. Also if you had customized into where you installed the program then you might need to find the physical location but for the rest let's go ahead and just leave it as default and press uninstall And it tells us that the product has successfully been uninstalled. Some files may stay in their location until next reboot. We're going to go ahead and go ahead and just restart this computer now. I don't see it already. This problem right here, I think, is where it's trying to tell you to restart. Most programs usually do restart right there. But if it doesn't, um, go ahead and go to search again just to be sure this. And type in msconfig again just to be sure. 
and I'm going to go to boot and I don't see that um, the AVG list on boot up is not there anymore. So I'm going to go ahead and just manually send the computer to restart. And we'll see if we go back to normal use. And here it is. It looks like Windows 10 is coming back up. And I do not see AVG. AVG is not showing this list. Let's go ahead and go to control panel. Do I see AVG in there? And I do not see AVG. Let's go ahead and go to regular settings and go to apps. And I don't see AVG there either. That is pretty much it. Thank you for watching from Helton's Computer Repair and I will see you on the next video. Thanks for watching guys. If you just like this video then hit that button but if you like it and you want to see more hit that like button, get subscribed, comment and tell us what other tech videos you want to see. Consider checking out our merch store, link in the video description and for the rest I will see you on the next video.